Hi guys, me again, Aswat And this time I'm going to do a video game review for Ghost of Tsushima So this is not a, a new game It's actually gone, came out a few months ago But I did not buy the game uh, then Why? I will tell you why um, When the Ghost of Tsushima was first released It doesn't have a game plus It's an open world game that takes place in Japan um, with the Mongol invasion. Um, so you play as a samurai who wants to rescue his uncle and kick the Mongols out of Japan. So the premise is fantastic, but I did not buy the game because uh, for me it's very important if the game has game plus. Now, what is Game Plus? Game Plus in an open world game is very important. It means after you finish the game, uh, you can go back into the world and replay the whole game or continue the game with all your weapons and all your stats are at the maximum. So you are given that option with Game Plus. When the game when Ghost of Tsushima was first released, it did not have that. And I will not buy uh, games like that. Open world games like that, I will not buy. Why? Because it's expensive. In Malaysia, that game, when it first came out, was about 200 something. It was quite expensive for me. And I I want something value for money. I would, I would have Red Dead Redemption, open world games like that. Um, uh, the f um, oh my god, now the game, I forgot the game, what do you call that? <sighs> Metal Gear Solid 5 Those are the games that I can go back and play after I finish I can still go back and play and I do that So, when this game came out, Ghost of Tsushima, it came out um, It came out around the same time as The Last of Us uh, the last of us have game plus you can play the game after you win it and and that's good but except for ghost of shima when it came up it doesn't have that option so it was but for me it was not worth the money okay so but the developer finally released um, a game plus option to the ghost of Tsushima and then is when I finally bought it so this review is not it could be considered late but I would consider a proper review once the, the game plus option is given to the players now, then I can go back and play again and again that's what happened and that's, this is why I came and made this review now to be honest if you uh, if you just reading if you never play Assassin's Creed you're just reading about the game from the game reviews I want to tell you this is the best Assassin's Creed that is not made by Ubisoft it's not an Assassin's Creed movie or game but it could be and it should be because this is this is a fantastic game because like I said one besides value for money it is an Assassin's Creed game in terms of you are becoming an assassin samurai you get to become a ninja and uh, your the mission variety uh, is there you is beautiful to look at the number one thing that i have to say about this game that really will stick in your mind when you play it is the visual the world is beautiful i have to be honest it's not a realistic world it's not a realistic depiction of the world it's very hyper stylized uh, very stylo but because of that it made the game looks so beautiful and so just so pleasing to go and live in this world this is why I still come to the game and I just play just walking around even after I finish the game you know it's so still enjoyable after walking around so what else is good now like I said after the game is over once you finish the game I just want to emphasize on the quality post-game is that 
the Mongols are still on the island, so you still can fight the enemies that is scattered around the island. They will pop up, they are moving around. Small bands of enemies, small bands of Mongols are still terrorizing the people. So it's your job of the as the hero to get rid of them. So the value for money of replayability is still there even after the game is over. And and there is so many many things to do so that game is never boring for me um the mission is fantastic variety uh you had you need to help people on the island to so for them to join your party join your your team so it's variety of uh, people to meet missions to meet um and uh, the gameplay is responsive very fun to play that's the most thing important thing fun to play and um, yeah value for money for me if you only buy one game this year it should be ghost of Tsushima and I just want to have uh, this comment the score I want to give for this game is seriously uh, 9.5 out of 10 it's so high it can't be a perfect game because there's no such thing as a perfect game because there's some flaws but as it is now with the game plus it is 9.5 out of 10 it's still on my computer i want it on my ps4 i want the game i still go back into the world just to walk around uh, using horses and whatnot there's so much variety and worth the money uh, the most important thing is worth the money is if you want to buy one game for 2020 is this game and i say this game should win game of the year and that is my review for ghost of Tsushima, uh, a very fantastic samurai game an assassin creed game that's that is take place in japan is so much better than assassin creed so much better in terms of a lot of things in terms of um, inventory management managing your weapon managing whatever items that you have is so much friendlier it will not give headache you know it's so very very natural very fun to play very easy to play so that's my review for ghost of shima ghost of tsushima <laughs> thank you guys for watching peace